Okay, if you've got fine hair, or especially fine and thin hair, and you're trying to figure out what style is best for me, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna start that right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Justin Hickox. Thanks for hanging out. I like to share tips and tricks, things I've learned over the past 25 years of doing hair to hopefully make your hair a little bit easier for you. So if that's something you're interested in, you're gonna wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss every Tuesday when I bring out a brand new video. But today, like I said, we're talking about thin and fine hair. And I don't wanna just stand here and tell you styles and shapes that can look cool on you. I wanna give you the knowledge of understanding why these specific shapes will work, what you need to know about these different haircuts and these different lengths, so that if you wanna modify one of these because it would make more sense for your hair, you're gonna have the knowledge necessary to do that. So, why don't we dive into my very first model? Okay, so first we're gonna be talking about longer lengths. Now I realize your hair is not long, and before we even get into this video, I also am fully aware that these mannequins' hair is not super fine or thin. I get that, I'm a little limited in options as we speak, but nonetheless, the techniques and the specific things that I'm gonna be talking about are very much geared towards fine and thin hair, so just rest assured, they will work for you. Okay, now, getting to longer lengths. I realize her hair is not super long, but these mannequins typically come with hair that's not too much longer than this, and it's really fine at the ends, so we gotta bring that length up to where it actually looks thick at the base, so that's what we've done here. Now, there's a few things that I've done with this particular cut that are very important to think about when you're talking about having fine or thin hair. Now, first of all, layers are great. I know that that's a big concern for a lot of people. They don't wanna do layers because it's gonna make them feel like they don't have enough hair. But layers are going to open up the shape and allow you to have lift and volume up through the crown that is very important for having the illusion of thicker hair. Now, the key factor in this, especially in having long hair, is you wanna make sure that everything above your temples, right, Everything above here can have some layers in it. Anything below that and behind the ears, you wanna be very careful about having layers in that. That can start to make the ends look very thin and fine, and that's what can make it look like your hair is actually thinner, when in reality, it may not be. Now, layers in the front, that's great, and that's something that I would actually tell anybody that's gonna have longer hair that has fine hair, definitely layering in the front is going to loosen that up a lot. You can do layers in the front, you can do bangs. The other thing you wanna make sure of if your hair is gonna be longer is you wanna make sure that you cut that length to where it actually looks strong. If it looks too thin at the ends at one length, there's no way it's gonna have the support to actually be able to layer it. So you've gotta bring that length up to where it looks strong. Then you can start adding in the internal layers. If you're gonna have layers, you wanna make sure that the layers, if you're gonna have them in the front, that the layers in the front are at least as short or shorter than the layers in the back. Now the thing to think about there is to think, if you're gonna have the layers in your front really long because you don't want them any shorter than the chin, for instance, that means the layers in the back have to be as long as that. Well, at, there comes a point where if your hair is only this long and the layers in the back are only gonna be that much shorter, there's not a whole lot of point in doing the layers in the back because ultimately they're just gonna hang there anyway. And in reality, they're not really gonna give you the illusion of more volume. So you wanna make sure that if you're gonna do layers that you're willing to take that front up short enough to where you can take this stuff up short enough to really see the impact of having layers. The other thing I like about doing stuff like this is, I'll turn her to the side here so you can see, is having those face forming layers allows you when you pull your hair back, if you're gonna have it long, to have some softness that comes down that can kind of break up that shape a little bit so that it has a little bit of kind of a point of interest, if you will. Many times in finer hair, or thinner especially hair, it has a tendency to start looking a little thin right around in the hairline having some shorter pieces that are like bangs are gonna benefit you in the way that they're going to make this look a little bit thicker. The longer they get, the more often the thinner it's going to appear. Okay, so my next model, <laughs> model, my next cut is more of a bob shape or a medium length haircut. And what's important to think about this, the reason I like these shapes partly is because when you have a really strong line, it's gonna make everything look a lot fuller and a lot more dense. But the key to having a length in this range is you still wanna have some layering. You wanna realize that the closer it gets to your neckline, the thicker this line is going to look. Some people have a lower neckline, some people have a higher neckline. So you wanna pay attention to the fact that wherever your neckline is, is going to dictate how high you need to bring that length to be able to get layering like this where it lays into the back. Because if you leave that too long, it's going to look thin and sparse at the ends. 
So you wanna bring that up close to your neckline and that's gonna allow you to create this little bit of bevel. But the reason I like that little bit of bevel laying in here is because it supports layers which allow you to get more volume and movement up in this area. That's gonna help it to look fuller. It's gonna help create the volume that you're wanting to create. Another thing to think about is there's layering back here, and in fact, there's actually quite a bit of shorter layers up here, but there's not quite as much through the sides here. And the reason for that is because, especially on fine hair, this area in here can't support as much layering as this back here can. There's very little hair follicles in here. There's a lot more from here to here, right? And if you layer that too much, what you'll end up with is a very thin area down here where it'll look like this little hiccup, especially on fine hair. So you wanna make sure that if you're gonna do a bob, doesn't mean you can't have layers, you can still have layers, you just wanna make sure that you don't layer this stuff in here too much and take that line away because that's what's gonna create the illusion of density. Also, having this stuff in the front a little bit shorter, right, almost like a bang so that you can get some more movement and texture in that and that lightens it up a little bit more even. All of those things are gonna help create more fullness more volume, and more overall illusion of having thicker hair. Now again, with hers, if you shake it out and bring it back, she gets a lot of movement and texture to it, which is nice because that movement and texture also creates the illusion of more density. These shapes, this length range, is a fantastic shape for fine hair because it's got so much foundation for the illusion of so much strength, and then you can put so much layering in it that will give it so much more volume. Okay, now this is if we go a little bit shorter. First of all, short hair can be fantastic. It is a very easy way of creating more volume. More often than not, taking hair shorter to an extent will look thicker and denser. Now, the reason for that is because when you take it shorter, you can get a lot more movement and that movement will create the illusion of more density. Some things that you wanna pay attention to is just around the hairline, Having this a little bit shorter on that hairline, even something like a bang, that can do a lot in making that look denser. The other thing is, I don't think you have to do a super strong hairline in the back. I'd already taken this shorter with the bob, so there really wasn't a lot of way to keep some length there. However, taking this shorter, when you take anything stronger like that, right, shorter to the hairline is gonna be stronger. When you do that, it's gonna look denser and fuller. So softness is great, but softness also can create the illusion of thinness or fineness. So just keep that in mind. Not to say that you can't do it. This could look really cool with a little bit of softness around here. But at the end of the day, it also is something that you wanna pay attention to if that's your biggest concern. So in a situation like this, she's got it really short, right? We've got a lot of movement to it. You can bring this stuff back up off of your face, which is really nice. Bringing this back off your face, I can't really tuck behind you. That's the only thing that's hard about working with mannequins. You can't like tuck stuff behind their ears or anything. But bringing that back off your face is gonna help to create the illusion of more volume up here because this is tapered in. One thing that you do wanna pay attention to if you're gonna go shorter with layers, just to kind of know, is that you wanna be careful that this stuff in the back isn't too short. And what I mean by that is you still wanna make sure that you have enough length to create bend because that's where you're creating volume. If you get this too short, your bend is just gonna be a little tiny curl right there and that's gonna collapse right here, right? Or in the sides, it'll collapse right there. You'll have this little cap of volume and then this stuff will look really full. When you've got fine hair and you're trying to get more volume, more lift, it'll make it look like it's got less. The bigger this is, the flatter this will look. The bigger this is, the flatter this will look. So many times, if you're feeling like you're not getting enough volume, one thing to think about is pay attention to what's going on through here. It may be that that is actually too big, and if you taper that in a little bit, all of a sudden now, you'll have the illusion of more volume on top. Now, if you haven't had a chance to check out my videos that I've created on how to create volume in fine hair, make sure you watch that next. I hope that helped give you some insight into some different options that you could have with your hair now. So I would love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What haircut are you moving into? Do any of these lengths spark a little bit of excitement or interest for you? Maybe you wanna go shorter, you're gonna take it shorter, you're gonna leave it longer. What are you thinking? You got a lot of options. If you have any questions, you know where I'm at, comment below. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out. And if you like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday. Again, every Tuesday. And I come out with brand new videos on Tuesdays. All right, that was a bit much. You guys, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Eat well. We'll see you in the next video.